friends, Miss Hauser here. Today, I want to show you a really cool technique that I tried. Me and my friend tried it this weekend, and it came out really, really cool. It is great for flower planters and all kinds of different things, glasses and bowls. Um, so it's a marbling technique that you use nail polish. So if you have nail polish at home, this is a great technique. My only warning to all my friends, because I did this, and now my entire house smells like nail polish. I recommend going outside doing this. So this is probably going to be a really fun project to do like outside on a sunny day. Um, maybe something you can make for Mother's Day, but it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to show you some cool technique. I'll even show you some pictures of my friend's planters. Now, I recommend doing stuff that's small. Only problem is I did these large planters and it was a little difficult. It wasn't as easy as the little planner. So if you are going to try this, try it with something smaller um, rather than bigger because it is a little tricky. All right, so let's get started. So here is my friend trying it out for the first time. And as you can see, she used a smaller planner, like I mentioned, and it came out so cool. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It came out so good. And then there's her plant. It just is so cute. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is what you're going to need. I highly recommend a paper towel or a towel underneath you. So you're going to need some nail polish, any colors, um, Mod Podge, and a bowl with some warm water. Um, I also grabbed some toothpicks because, ah, oh my goodness. Um, I want to move the nail polish around in the water. Um, so make sure that the water is a little warm. Again, paper towel, a towel, something that you put underneath. I'm using my work table, so if I get something on it, it's fine. But for you guys, I highly recommend something underneath. Um, so I'm just shaking up the nail polishes now, um, making sure that they are nice and mixed. Um, so what you want to do with the nail polish is try to, um, you know, here's my planter I'm using. It's all nice and clear and white. It's ceramic. Um, plastic it might peel off, so this is more of like a glass texture. That's why I mentioned like cups and bowls, um, but more of a glass texture. It does work on plastic. Um, so I'm going to get started. So I'm going to take off the lid. I recommend, now I didn't do this and this was an oopsie on my part, is when you're done using it, put the lid back on right away because it does dry the nail polish out pretty quickly. Um, so think of the colors you want to use and you want to get really close to the water line and pour it onto the water. Again, you don't want it too far away from the water. Try to get as close as you can to the water without actually touching the bottle to the water. So again, my oopsie is opening them all up. Um, I recommend just opening it up when you're using it and closing it. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to use this really nice teal and I'm as close as I can to the water. And you're going to see it kind of spread out a little bit. And you're like, oh, no, no, no. It's it's okay. Trust me. Um, and then once you add things on top, it won't spread out as much, which is okay. Um, so I'm going to give some pink in there. I'm just going to swirl it around, um, give it a little yellow. You know, I love my colors. So I'm going to add some crazy crazy colors here. A little bit of orange. Ooh, and of course, got a little green. My favorite color. You know that. So after I pour it in, you have to work quickly because it will dry. So I'm going to swirl it around. As you can see, I kind of went up and down, side to side. And it gives that really cool marble technique. And here we go. This is the fun part. Be very careful and go exactly where you want the nail polish to lay. So I want it directly at the bottom of my pot. Okay, so I pull it up. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, so as you can see, it's really neat. I highly recommend letting it dry for a little bit, a couple minutes, probably maybe like 15 minutes. Um, now it's the Maj Pod, and you're like, what is Maj Pod? What is it? It's actually, it's a clear, it's sticky. Um, but it dries clear like glue, like Elmer's glue. Um, so it's kind of like an Elmer's glue where you want to put it on to protect the nail polish because the nail polish can chip off. I mean, if you wear it on your nails, you can see it chipping off sometimes. So this is more of a protective thing to make sure it stays on a lot longer. So I'm going to spread this out. The biggest thing with this is you want to make sure you spread it out and leave 
zero blobs, or I call them boogies, um, you don't want any buildup, because then the buildup, it's just going to be like this pretty much a glue dot um, that's on there. So I'm spreading it out. Now you're noticing these white lines. So that means my brush is filled up with glue or Mod Pod and I want to wipe it off. So what you want to try to do is spread it up. You see how I'm taking my brush and I'm wiping it on the edge of the Mod Pod container? It's pretty much removing the Mod Pod off my brush. I can be able to collect some excess Mod Pod. So again, you want to make sure when you're when you're wiping this on um, with a paintbrush, or I should say painting it on, um, you want to make sure it is fully spread out. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. I don't see any boogie. Oh, I, I see one. You see the boogie right there? There it is. I'm going to wipe that off with my finger. You can use a paper towel, but you want to do a nice, good check. See? Oh, drip. Got to make sure I clean that up. All right, because if you leave it, it's just going to look like like I said, dried up glue that's, you know, stuck on there. So I'm just checking it out. Ooh, I just love the colors, don't you? Oh, it looks so good. I love it. And there you have it. I hope you guys have fun.